Hello, hello. So welcome to the Life Quakening podcast with Jenny Luscombe, number two. So I loved making number one so much that I'm making number two right now. And I thought I would talk about spiritual awakening and what that is. So obviously other opinions are available. But I found on my journey that a lot of people think that awakening, spiritual awakening, means that you found God and that you're a member of the God Squad. It's partly true, misleading. I was raised as a Catholic and I was a very spiritual child and I did believe in God and when I hit my late teens, early twenties, I realised that religion was bad and the reason that I now know that it's bad is because You're deliberately required to put your personal power outside of you. And you're required to believe what someone's told you to believe. How is that possibly going to work? So in my opinion, spiritual awakening is about becoming authentic, authentically you. And I now believe that every member of the human race and indeed the animal kingdom and the mineral kingdom and the plant kingdom we're all fragments of source consciousness and what God actually is is all of us and our journey on planet earth is like a school training planet and it's a prison planet let's face it and the idea of us being here the meaning of life in my opinion is to learn how to choose and that's it to choose the life that we're looking for to realise who we are And some people align with the idea of God and some people don't on this path. I do and I don't and that suits me and I remain open. So I think we're all naturally psychic but we have those abilities shut down from literally day one when we pop out and we land so spiritually awakened people are some or all of the following clairvoyance people who see spirit their audience, people who hear spirit, their cognizance, people who know, and their sentient, people who feel. And I think there's some others. And I'm working on the clairvoyance and I do and I have seen spirit and I'm training as a quantum healer at the moment which involves me learning to tune back into the psychic ability that I've had programmed out of me and I have a multi-dimensional team that work with me and that I receive information from and that I co-create with in order to help my clients 
and it's fucking amazing and I love it. And I was trained by Jerry Sargent of Star Magic Healing. And we use extraterrestrial light frequencies to do the, the light work on this planet that is required at this time. So I'm working on the clairvoyance. I don't think I'm clairaudient. I haven't really experienced that. But my superpowers are cognizance, cognizance and sentience. So when I have a client that comes to me for EFT or the emotion code or quantum practice, I already know what they're going to say. I can feel them. If I sit next to someone on the bus, I know what they're going through. I can read energy. And I just know things. I know and I feel. And unfortunately, from the perspective of an unawakened person, I'm sometimes perceived as being a totally arrogant twat. And I get that. And I'm comfortable with people not understanding me now because everybody is just in their own learning hologram and their perception is based on their personal experience and I've given up trying to change people's perceptions unless they've asked me for help and I'm able to help people change unhelpful beliefs about themselves. Train! So I see spiritual awakening as enhanced perception and when this starts happening you start to experience synchronicity which is a real thing synchronicity is when events conversations people opportunities come into your life that you, in your own learning hologram, know with every fibre of your being have happened for some reason. Either you've asked for them or they've got information that you need. And it's absolutely magical. And I remember when the majority of my adult life I was an atheist and I believed in random chaos not fun and even though the awakening process has brought me a boatload of pain and confusion I've never felt safer and I've never felt more loved and protected and I've never had so much faith. And I'm so grateful for this experience. It's a lot to navigate especially when you didn't get the memo and none of us did but I love this journey I love not knowing every day 
what the messages are going to be and how they're going to help me and what I need to do with the information but it comes and it keeps on coming and the more you look and listen to yourself and the more you see everything as a reflection of you the safer you get and this is a mind-blowing journey so hopefully in these videos I'll be helping people who are also going through this experience and this is the Great Awakening and it's happening more and more now Got a business going on there. and many of us are slightly ahead of the curve to the rest of humanity and we need it to be and we've got you if you'd like to book a session with me I can help you surface subconscious beliefs about yourself that are keeping you stuck in your life I can help you release trapped emotion I can help you join the dots. So if you'd like a session in the EFT tapping or the emotion code, or if you would like a free quantum session, you can get on my waiting list because I have quite a few that are interested in that and I'm getting really good results and I'm loving it. And it feels like fun. So when things feel like fun, you know you're on the right path. So if you'd like to book a session, a therapy session, or a one-to-one -one training session to learn how to use muscle testing, to learn how to use EFT tapping, to learn how to use the emotion code, to learn some quantum processes, to learn inner child work, to learn parts work, they're all absolutely mind-boggling tools that I wish I'd found earlier and you can find the links below this video I've also written a course of seven step-by-step -step videos to teach people how to do the inner work themselves so that it doesn't take you ten years of research and experimentation like it did for me everything that you need to know is there so the link for that is also below this video. <clears throat> and if you'd like to get on my email list and subscribe to my newsletter, you're going to get lots of exclusive stuff and free information that can change your life. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. So thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Ta-da now. <laughs>